Hello, my name is Jessica Sheridan, and I'm going to speak about my portfolio project for my class of security in the 21st century. My um, two workplace capabilities that I'm going to discuss are perseverance and um, tolerance. And the reason I've chosen these two is one is perseverance is actually we are told to choose it by our instructor. And because not only that, but it's also very important to be successful in life, you have to be shown a large amount of perseverance, especially nowadays, you have to just keep going no matter how many times you're told no, or how many times you want to give up and you just don't think it's possible, you need to persevere and you need to keep going. <clears throat> And I feel it's um, very important with school, it's very important uh, with your workplace, and it's also important in your personal life, because if you are told no and you, you just simply stop, you're not going to accomplish anything in your life. My second workplace capability that I chose was tolerance. Um, going into a field where I'm going to utilize my criminal justice associate's degree, I feel I'm going to need a lot of tolerance for the type of people I'm going to be dealing with. I'm looking forward to working with people that are of the disadvantaged uh, members of our society. And those people can be difficult to work with because they are lacking proper knowledge or skills and therefore they can become sometimes ignorant of situations and um, don't think before they speak. So having tolerance and understanding where they're coming from is critical for me to be able to do my job and I believe it's also very important to have tolerance in school not only for the people you're going to be working with but for yourself to understand that maybe this assignment didn't go well but I'm capable of being much more and I'm going to be tolerant of one mistake. So some of the things that made me think that this um, portfolio project met the program uh, guidelines and institutional was that the program outcomes was that the portfolio project itself is teaching me how to gather a lot of information. Um, this was probably the most heavily researched paper I've ever done and um, I was able to effectively communicate it after I really broke it down into smaller sections because there was really a lot to this project and um, to be honest I've never come across a paper this extensive before. And I was able to effectively communicate that for um, supervisors, teachers, and um, people that speak more like a layman's term. I kept it simple, but it was still enough information. As far as uh, rational learning, um, I feel that this class overall made me more evaluate the things I do daily, like um, driving, the choices I make with even food, um, how I interact with people. Those are all risks. If I treat someone poorly, the odds are it's going to bite me back later. So I'm reevaluating all my interactions, the choices, the ways I, even just the way I drive to work nowadays, I'm, I'm just thinking a little bit more, being a little more critical of my choices and making sure that what I'm doing really is going to be a better result in the end for me and the people around me that I care about. So some of the difference and some of the ways I can identify private sector and public sector now after uh, being in this class is what I always think about is when I start thinking about those two, I start right where, where does the money come from those two organizations? Private, obviously, is their clients. They are getting paid to do a job. The public sector, think about the word public. It's the taxpayers. The taxpayers are the ones that are funding these people to do their job. <clears throat> I feel that the private sector has less authority. Um, and when I say that, I'm thinking more of like long terms with the criminal justice system and like, you know, pushing people through the courts, locking them up, throwing away the key kind of thing, uh, working with corrections. Now, with the public sector, obviously they have a lot more authority with that. They're able to push someone through the criminal justice system, get them court dates, and then eventually have them serve some type of crime or some type of time, depending on the crime that they have done. Um, the public sector, on the other hand, is funded by taxes, like I mentioned, and unfortunately, since they're funded by taxes, they have less money to work with, so less gear, and they're less specialized in some areas. They try to be more of like a jack-of-all-trades, so they can not really specialize in one particular area, but they, they encompass a large part of the uh, 
law enforcement section, so they do a little bit of everything. With the private sector, they have a lot more money because they are being funded by a company or a very important, most case, rich person. And they are more specialized. They have a certain type of uh, security that they're offering that customer, and they're able to buy that equipment that they need in order to provide that job. Overall, I feel this class has been challenging, eye-opening, and um, to be honest, I'm going to be able to apply some of this to my life, and I'm grateful for that. So once again, uh, thank you for everything, and have a great rest of your summer.